OMG's fucking broken. Bro, no way, man. Where's the fourth? Fourth. I got a quad feed. Another one? Damn. Damn, I'm streaking. Nice. Oh, they're on this right side, huh? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, yes. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God, let's go. Holy shit, I gotta get out. I gotta get out. I, I'm on a streak. Trash, bro. Where are they? Oh shit, there's a lot of people right here. I'm missing shots. Holy fuck. Okay. I need a UAV. Okay. UAV. Where are they? I'm getting smoked. I'm getting tear gas. I got, I got two. No, no, I died. Yo, what's going on guys? Rondo here, bringing you guys a brand new video today. So as you guys can see by the title, we're actually gonna be doing the car 98K versus the new R700 sniper, or like we like to call it the SPR 208. Basically, I'm just gonna give a kind of a comparison between the two, which one's kind of better, or what's the difference between the two. And I'm just gonna give you guys kind of a good best class setup as well, just so you guys can try it out, see what you guys think, and then you guys can leave a comment down below. All right, so we're gonna start with the SPR 208, the R700. So you guys can see, this is actually my class setup. This is probably the fastest, but not too fast of a class setup you guys can use. It's gonna be the TAC Laser, the Solo Zero SPR 28 millimeter, the XRX SP Lite 208 Blitz, the Sloan KR 600 Feather and 10 round mags. This all helps with aim down sight speed and fire rate of the sniper. Um, accuracy just it helps a lot and it doesn't give and it still has good damage as you guys can see on the damage chart below the damage on this weapon is really 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 high it's actually higher than the car so as you guys can see the damage on this is just on the r700 slightly more than the car they basically have the same stats i definitely say with the r700 you do get hit markers but um, as of recent, I've been using the R700. I haven't really gotten any hit markers at all as much as the car ever since the last few updates The car has gotten a lot more hit markers as usual and still you can one shot with the car and get longer range snipes with it With the R700 long distance sniping, it's kind of um, a little odd. It's like the MK2 It's not that good from long range with quick scoping So you kind of have to get your shot on and center a little better to you know hit your shots but with the car and the R700, they're basically similar stats. I definitely say the car 98K shoots a lot faster than the R700. That's one the one thing that the car probably has. But I definitely think overall the R700, especially in Warzone, is really, really solid too. It melts like crazy on our um, Warzone. And then also in multiplayer, it's really, really dominant. Both snipers are dominant. So I'd say they're both really, really good guns to both use. Obviously the car 98K everyone's gonna use, but ever since the R700 came out, people have been using that a lot since the brand new content. But I would definitely have to rank, in my personal opinion, I would rank the R700 over the car. Just my personal choice. It might, the, the car is really, really solid. I just think the R700, the play style with it, the mag size, how it reloads, all the attachments too that the R700 comes with, it's just really good for multiplayer and Warzone. The car 98k you can definitely use in warzone and use in multiplayer obviously but the one thing i notice is when the car you always have to lead your shot especially in warzone and the r700 has no skin it just as soon as you lock on the person you don't have to lead your shot or nothing you can actually hit them and it drops people as you guys can see most people that are playing warzone are getting one shot downs and they're destroying getting great gameplays and the car people use in warzone too 
but I would just say typically both these guns I would definitely use. I'd use a swap class for these. Um, I think both these snipers are definitely better than MK2 as well, so that's a really, really big thing because the MK2 is something people look down upon. And I don't know, to be honest, MK2 long range kind of sucks and you get a lot of I hope this video helped you guys with some class setups and kind of ideas of maybe which sniper you should use more. Um, if you guys want to see anything else or need um, questions, make sure to leave a comment down below. Make sure to drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you guys are new. We're going to try to get to 12,000 subscribers before Cold War. So I'll see you guys on another video. Peace. Nice. I hit Mark with the five on. I get a quad feed time. I split five on and ah, uh, solid quad feed. I hit Mark with the five on. Sorry. Five on. Let's go. Car five on, babe. Fucking nice. Let's go, five on car. Flat. Look, cause then it gets a view. You tell them the clip there, they ain't gonna watch it. Enemy UAV, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Car five on. Wait. Five on. Let's go.